Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece! One Piece, chapter 756 review at 756. Now, listen, this chapter is really simple, so this review should be fairly quick. And by the way, the live reaction, which I did on Wednesday, uploaded on Thursday, is going to be right here, in this corner, my right, your left, and... This video, which I'm doing on Friday, is going to be uploaded on Saturday morning. And I said to myself, I wasn't going to do this on Saturday, but it, it just happened to be on Saturday. And the main reason why is this. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, young Mulat, baby. The, the, what, what, is, <laughs> what are these things? These are Comic-Con tickets. And I had to go through a struggle. I had to go through a struggled and i didn't think it would be that bad but it wound up being really really bad though granted things did pan out to where i wound up around the last of the first line which was cool because i was like yo this is, this is kind of crazy but it went it worked out it worked out i'll tell you guys another day another time but it was fascinating so fuck my life one piece apparently you know, I can tell. I can tell. I'm a psychic, all right? Five guys, at least. King of Laning, fuck you. Get to the One Piece chapter. All right, fine. And I'm, I'm going to do this review, and I'm going to find you. I'm, I'm going to find where you live. And then you're going night-night. You're going night-night. All right? Headlock. Night-night. So, this chapter. Really simple. The main thing here... Is just the setup of the fight between Diamante versus Rebecca. And granted, Rebecca, she's not beating Diamante. Not by a long shot. If Rebecca beats Diamante, oh no, oh that's a problem. That's a big problem. You don't set up where this girl gets taken out by a Luffy while eating a bento. Takes out a few scrubs, can barely handle Cavendish in his uh, Kamaikati form. And then have them, and have her beat Diamante. No, no, not possible. So... Like I said before in the live reaction, my assumption here is that Kiros is going to come in while this fight's going down. He's going to assist his daughter, and the two of them together are going to wind up beating... Well, okay, fine. I can't say... Because I was going to say kill, but I remember how the toy soldier, which wound up being her father, obviously, didn't train Rebecca to kill. Even though, even though Kiros told Luffy and... Law and Cavendish that I want to kill Diamante, hence the you know the murder of my wife. Rebecca's there, and she has been trained by him not to kill. So there may be some discrepancies later on in that fight, but either way, I want to say Kiros and Rebecca versus Diamante for the genuine battle, and then you have the other three bypass Diamante. And go off to the castle, meaning Cavendish, Law, and Luffy. And what I also want to say is that that's probably going to be the fight that Oda focuses on the most. Among all the battles now. Even though there's freaking Sabo and Fujitora. He's going to probably focus on this fight the most. And listen, alright, before I go any further. <sighs> some people are like, oh, what the f King, stop complaining about Sabo and Fujitora, man. Hey, just enjoy the One Piece series. Ride the train, man. I'm on the fucking train. I'm in business class, bitches. All right? <laughs> I feel bad for calling myself as bitches, but for this one review, bitches. Okay? God damn it. Because I'm on the train just like you guys. But here's the problem. Yes, One Piece has 13 plus more years of One Piece. All right? There's a lot more content on the way. I understand that full well. And it's a long train ride, but I'm not complaining, alright? I'm just chilling. However, at this current point in time, and like it is in a lot of cases when it comes to One Piece, Oda has multiple things going on. So imagine these multiple things being other cars within this train. And right now, we're on, we're on car 7. And car 7, we're playing bingo. And bingo, what's going on right now? That's bingo, okay? Kinemon and Kanjiro and Usa being scared as always. And Viola finding Mancherry in the timeout room. And, you know, just going up the damn levels. That's bingo. 
But we know that at Car 2, they're having a rave party. And the fucking rave party is Sabo and Fujitora. We want to be at the rave party. We want to be playing bingo. I don't give a fuck about bingo, man. I want to party hard. And the only you party hard is when you see when you see Sabo do all types of fire, all right? Talents, yeah. And then you got Fujitora bringing down, or he can't do that, but he's just bringing up stuff. Tractor beams. That, that, that's how you go hard. All right, that's what I want to do. I want to party. So, I'm on the same train, but I'm in the wrong goddamn car. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking, we're all in the wrong car. Because we're all following the same damn chapter. Okay? No one's special where they get like, I don't know, like they get like exclusive talk with Oda to find out what's going on with Sam Fujitora. I'm like, no, 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 we're not getting that. We're not, we're not that special. I'm assuming. If you are... Fuck you, because I hate you. I hate you. All right. Let me move on. Kanjiro made the web, or the net, for the people to actually get up to the mountain. So we're probably going to see them and Usopp and King Riku against the people that are coming up the fodder. Ooh. They finally find Mancherry in, in the timeout room. And the main bit here about the timeout room is the simple fact that it showcases the difference between the Riku family and the Flamingo family, or in this case, Flamingo himself. Where even though they were poor, there was a lot of love, there was a lot of harmony, where if the dwarves did something wrong within the palace, they were put in the timeout room, along with the kids. And they were still given food by uh, Scarlet. So, you know, it, it was a good time. But nowadays, dwarves work, in the fam dwarves work in the factory like slaves. Making smiles for Kaido. To appease the great Kaido. Fuck Kaido! Oh. Alright. So, that's the main bit there. Really. And Mancherry, she's in there, so they're going to have to go and rescue her. Now... How they're going to do that exactly, I don't know. Because those that know that Mancherry's in there are... Well, maybe they have a communication device between uh, Viola and... No, I think they do. They have a communication... Yeah, they have, yeah, no, they do. They have a device between Viola and Leo. So Leo is aware that Mancherry, she's in the timeout room. So he's, he's going to go there and save Mancherry, obviously. Now, Sugar's back, which is interesting... Because she is a massive threat, and she has all the... Again, the Nutcracker dolls are... They're, they're okay. Like, they're not, they're not bad. They're, they're not bad. They're really not, because it's like... They can take a lot of damage and still come back. They can get their heads caught off, holes blasted inside of them, or holes blasted through them, and they can still come back fighting. But the main thing here with the Nutcracker dolls is, like, really, like, they're not... Like, they're, they're decent. They're decent. At this point in time, we don't really care about... Scrubs like the Nutcracker dolls. We care about like the top dudes, Treble, Pika, Diamante, those cats, Flamingo himself, maybe even Sugar, because Sugar's kind of top tier. And we even have a uh, among the crew. And we even have this fight set up of Robin and Bartolomeo against freaking uh, Glorious. So like that's a pretty decent fight too. So another car where what's going to go down there is you know some fine dining. But, are we going to see it? Don't know. Don't know. So, overall, I'm on the train ride, goddammit. But the train ride, I want to be on the right car. So, the chapter is okay. It's another okay chapter of One Piece. Nothing too special. Nothing too big. Just another week of meh. Just another week of meh. That's all I can say. So I'm done. King Lightning, the chapter is okay. Rate the video, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, when it comes to... I really want to see Kiros and Diamante just go ham. If they're going to focus on that fight, go crazy. Go nuts. Blood and body parts. Even though we know that's not really Otis' thing. But he's, he's gotten a little bit better over the course of the years. Especially when it came to the Whitebeard War and when it came to Monet's death. Probable death. 99% death. We're not even too sure about that. Virgo is like 50% chance death. <laughs> Virgo, right. And 
finally, when it came to Kiros getting his leg cut off in the flashback. And Scarlet's death. So he's getting better over the years. He's getting more... He's getting more spunk. Which is ironic, because normally when you're younger, you have more spunk or whatever. He's getting more spunk over the course of the years. But still, I need to see some crazy shit. Because it's the new world. And the new world is making the Grand Line look like paradise. Show me that. Show us that. Where is the sense of danger? Flamingo is the only dude that actually... Well, him and Treble, because Treble's a little bit scary. Here he is, right? His, his powers are pretty fucking scary. And his accuracy, too. But aside from those two, I need to see a sense of danger. Alright, so King Landing, rate the video, comment, subscribe. Peace and have a nice day.